Good morning, children. Today, in this session, we are going to see the standard form of a linear equation in two variables and its solutions. You know that any equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are constants x and y are variables of degree 1 is called a linear equation in two variables but a should not be equal to 0 and b should not be equal to 0 look at this here 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 is a linear equation in two variables here x and y are two variables of degree 1 each whereas 3 4 and 20 are the constants if you compare 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 with the standard form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 we see that 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 you can bring this to this standard form 3x plus 4y if this plus 20 is brought this side it becomes minus 20 is equal to 0 now if you compare this and this then you will have a is equal to 3 and x is equal to x plus is equal to plus in place of b there is 4 therefore b is equal to 4 y is equal to y in place of c there is minus 20 thus a is 3 b is plus 4 and c is minus 20 if any equation is in two variables is given like this this is how you can bring it to a standard form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 it is not in the standard form now when you bring this 20 this side it becomes minus 20 now it is 3x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0 and this is compared with this now this form and this form are same and this is how if an equation in two variables is given, we will write in standard form. After bringing to standard form, you compare with ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and then identify the values of a, b, c which are constants. Here a is 3, b is plus 4 and c is minus 20. Now, let us understand the meaning of solution of a linear equation in two variables okay here x and y are variables of degree one and there are two variables therefore it is a linear equation in two variables what do we mean by solution of the linear equation in two variables today we are going to learn about how to find the solutions of a linear equations in two variables now let us understand the meaning of what is the solution of a linear equation in two variables the solution of linear equations in two variables is that value of x and y means that value of the variables involved for which the left hand side of the equation becomes equal to right hand side of the equation then we say that the equation is satisfied okay what is the meaning of solution of the equation the solution of a linear equation in two variables is that value of x and y when that values of x and y are substituted in the equation for x and y the left hand side becomes equal to right hand side that value of x y is called one solution of this equation but how to find the solution of 
a linear equation in two variables. We are going to discuss that in this session. So here, 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 is the given equation. First, you equate it to y. So, what I did is, I send this plus 3x this side, it becomes minus 3x. Okay? And then, uh, this plus 20 is already there here. Therefore, minus 3x plus 20 is equal to 4y. The relation between y and 4 is into, therefore, into 4 when comes this side becomes divided by 4. So, y is equal to minus 3x plus 20 divided by 4. This is how we equated the given equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 or 3x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0 for y. After equating to y, what you should do is just make a tabular column here. Right? Tabular column for x and y. Now what you should do, go on taking different values of x and you will get the corresponding values of y. For example, if x is equal to 0, you take this value, then in this, put x is equal to 0 where there is x. So, y is equal to minus 3x plus 20 by 4, y is equal to minus 3 into where there is x, you put 0 plus 20 upon 4. 3 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 20 is 20. 20 by 4. Right? 20 by 4 is 4 1s are 4. 5s are. Therefore, y is equal to 5. Thus, for x is equal to 0, you got y is equal to 5. This 0 comma 5, huh? this 0 comma 5 is called one solution of the equation. Okay? So, if we put x is equal to 0 here and y is equal to 0 in the equation, the left hand side should become right hand side. That is called verification of the solution. Let us see whether this 0, 5 satisfy the equation. Means, make LHS is equal to RHS. Let us go for the verification. I have taken x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. The given equation is 3x plus 4y is equal to 20. See here, 3x plus 4y is equal to 20. Huh? For x is equal to 0, I put. And uh, for y is equal to 5, I put. Now, 4, 5s are 20. 3, zeros are 0. 0 plus 20 is equal to 20. Thus, 20 is equal to 20. Therefore, here, it is left hand side is equal to right hand side. And we say, the equation is satisfied for x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. And also we say that left hand side is equal to right hand side for the values 0, 5. Okay. So, so 0, 5 is called one solution of the equation. Is there only one solution? Can we not find the other solutions? Let us take uh, x is equal to 2 here. Right. Um, uh, if we take x is equal to 2, then you see y is equal to minus 3x plus 20 by 4. y is equal to minus 3 into where there is x, you put 2. Right? Plus 20. Uh, plus 20 upon 4. 3 2s are minus 6. Minus 6 plus 20 is how much? 14. Uh, 14 by 4. 14 by 4 to 2s are to 7s are the 7 by 2. Therefore, y is equal to 7 by 2 is the value of y when x is equal to 2. Therefore, 2 and 7 by 2 make one more solution of the equation. Huh? Shall we check it whether this uh, is a solution of the equation or not? This is called verification. I take x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 7 by 2 and substitute those values in the y is equal to minus 3x plus 20 by 4 also or 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 also. See here, 3x plus 4y is equal to 20. 3 into x, I put 2 for x plus 4 into for y, I put 7 by 2. I come to know that 2 1s are and uh, 
to twos are cancel here. Seven twos are fourteen. Three twos are six. Fourteen plus six is equal to twenty. Twenty is equal to twenty. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. For the value x is equal to two and y is equal to seven by two. Therefore, we say that two comma seven by two is also a solution of the equation. Why? Because it satisfies the equation. Or when the values for x is equal to two and y is equal to seven by two are substituted in the equation, left hand side becomes equal to right hand side. Okay. Uh, two comma seven by two is called a solution. In case if left hand side is not equal to right hand side, huh? when we put two comma seven by two, then we should understand that two comma seven by two is not a solution of the equation because when we substitute two comma seven by two for this x and y, if LHS is not equal to RHS, then it is not the solution. But here. Uh, two comma seven by two make LHS equal to RHS. That is why uh, two comma seven by two is an equation. Okay. Let me try to find out one more equation. Sorry, one more solution. That is, take x is equal to minus one, right? If you take x is equal to minus one, then the corresponding value of y is twenty three by four. You just check it out. So minus one comma twenty three by four is also the solution of a given linear equation in two variables, huh? and uh, you can do its verification. But I am sure the values for x is equal to minus one and y is equal to twenty three by four. If you substitute here in this equation, you will get LHS is equal to RHS, or if you substitute here also, you will get LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, children, I have found. The solutions of this equation as zero comma five, two comma seven by two, and minus one comma twenty three by four. Always the solutions are in pairs and they are written as ordered pair. That is, the first value is always representing x value, and the uh, next value is representing the y value. In general, a solution of the equation. A x plus b y plus c is equal to zero is written as x comma y, right? Here x denotes the first variable and y denotes the second variable. Thus, if a pair of linear equations in two variables is given, its solution is written like this: x comma y. Here x comma y means zero comma five. Here x comma y means two comma seven by two. X comma y means minus one comma twenty three by four. And someone will take it as x one y one, and this as x two y two, and this as x three y three. It is just a custom to take the different sets of solutions for the same question or the for the same equation. Okay. I hope you have learned. So, children, I have found uh, three solutions for the equation given here. Are these the only three solutions that three x plus four y is equal to twenty? The equation has no. It can have still many more solutions. How? See here. I have taken x is equal to zero and got y is equal to five. For x is equal to two, y is equal to seven by two. For x is equal to minus one, y is equal to twenty-three by four. If you go on taking different values for x, you will go on getting the different corresponding values of y. So I can take x is equal to three, x is equal to minus one, x is equal to one by two, x is equal to seven. Like that, I keep on taking different values of x. For every value of x, there is a corresponding value of y. And it forms one solution. So, a linear equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 has infinitely many solutions. But each solution satisfies the equation. That is, make LHS is equal to RHS. And in general, I can say that a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. A linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. Okay, this is what 
we have learned in this session. Therefore, today I request you to take some other linear equations in two variables and find at least five solutions for each and verify the result. Is it clear? Thank you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.